Hi guys, Nick here from Pinshape, and today I'm going to show you how to use our awesome new cloud streaming feature to print designs at home. First, let's find something cool to print. You'll know a design is available for streaming because it'll have that little printer icon with the two lines beside it. If you click on the item page, you can see the stream button right there for you. If you click on that, you'll have the option to pick which file from that design you want to stream, and then you can get started. Next, you'll see our setup page. This is where you're going to install the software you need to run 3D Printer OS for the cloud streaming. It's easy to download and install, and once you do, you're going to want to open that program up. Once the program's open, it'll continue to run in the background, and it's what allows your computer to speak to your 3D printer throughout the process of your streaming. Finally, once the program's launched, you're going to want to make sure to plug in and power your 3D printer. After that's done, it should just be a second until it automatically detects that everything's working and moves on to the settings page. On the settings page, you'll be able to select which 3D printer you're using as well as which filament you're using. You can adjust any of the slicer settings and the temperature settings, but for the most part, the default value should work. You'll also be able to select your support settings and raft and brim if you want to. Once you're happy with that, you can move, scale, and rotate the item that you're about to print with a couple handy buttons to center and put your object on the bed. Once you're happy with the settings, you can go ahead and send the print job to your printer. This will allow us to process the files and get them ready for print. When that's done, your bed will start heating, followed by your extruder. After everything's heated up, your print will start. At this point, you're free to do whatever you want. You can close down the browser window, you can navigate to another site, or you can look at more cool designs on Pinshape and your print will still complete. To get back to seeing your print status, you just have to click on the My Dashboard button in the menu bar and you'll find your print in progress. Once the print's complete, you can leave us some feedback and let us know how everything went. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, don't forget to upload a print to share your slicer settings and pictures of how everything turned out. Thanks for watching and happy streaming. Thank you.